Hello and welcome to another episode in the Just Flying series. Nice simple one today, only two letters to remember, as we're going from M K to K M. And crap, cancel that, it's actually the other way around. Um, God, this is a great start to the video, isn't it? Uh, yeah, not, not M K to K M, but K M to M K. Uh, yeah, Karamea NZKM to Motawika NZMK. And coast to coast. Uh, it's only a thin bit of coast up here. The top end of South Island, so it shouldn't take too long. Uh, 20 minutes or so, I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah, I've heard of runways described as being you know, a thin strip of tarmac. Uh, yeah, well, this is certainly thin, isn't it? Uh, wonder how many real landings at this place do end up with pilots getting a bit of grass on the wheels. Um, anyway, uh, nice morning weather, which looks lovely. Uh, 11 knots, although not far off the runway heading, so that's fine. Oh uh, yeah, all good, let's go for it. usual no planning whatsoever kind of flight uh, no. just use the x-plane map to navigate with and point us in generally the right direction there seems to be a bit of cloud around but not enough for us to be worried about by the look of things so yeah fingers crossed it'll be nice gentle admire the scenery kind of flight you know, the you know, updates by the way, uh, Neil was still here on, well on Saturday at least, and I finally did get Africa Sim Heaven to try out on Reunion. And oh yes, Sim Heaven makes a huge improvement on that place. Uh, it's been a nice few days since the last video as I've learnt two new things. Um, yeah, one of them kind of accidentally learning something, as I noticed a very weird issue with a new airport I'd started working on, where some items which I was putting in WED, uh, the world editor, were displaying in X-Plane in a slightly different place. Now, as this was a new scenery where I hadn't done much yet, one of the things I hadn't got round to doing was setting the airfield elevation. And the difference was the default start location for it was 40 metres above sea level, but the actual place is over 1,700. So that's a very big difference. And obviously that was enough to mess with wed, explain, combination of both, or however it worked, to have items show up in the wrong spot. Um, when I did set the correct elevation, um, everything worked fine again. The stuff did show up where I put it, so, yep, job done, and, uh, yeah, albeit kind of by accident, yeah, I've learnt something I never knew before. Yeah. Other one, slightly more traditional thing of trying to educate myself on purpose, and I now know a bit more about road editing which is something I needed to do for one of the things I was trying to accomplish. Uh, yeah, so that bit of newfound knowledge might come in useful at other places now, so that's all good. Yeah. Also learnt something this week about lithium and Milankovitch cycles, although I won't bore you with that, but it is nice for me anyway. I like a bit of science and learning new things, and I learn new things. So, yeah, that was good. Uh, yeah. Give us that 
valley ahead as that were. Full of cloud. Might be. Yeah, that could be quite pretty when we get there. Yeah, anyway, not much else has happened really. Uh, well, I did watch an old movie again. Uh, Silent Green. Yeah, it was one of those things where it came into my, into my mind and I realised that, you know, yes, I know the spoiler at the end of it, but I couldn't remember anything about what happened in the build-up to that or what the rest of the film was all about. A quick search on the internet, found a website where they had it and I watched it again. And that's a bit of my life I'm not getting back. Yeah, probably fine for its time, but uh, yeah, not not a great film really. Um, never mind. Uh, yeah, as to what is, still love the original Blade Runner. Um, watched that a few times, and most likely will watch it again in the future at some point. Uh, and also the Warriors which is simultaneously one of the best and one of the worst films I've ever seen. Uh, I, I do actually own a Cyrus Can You Dig It t-shirt. Now, if you haven't seen the film The Warriors, that won't make any sense at all, but I, I can recommend it. Um, I'll tell you what. I'll look it up and post a link in the description as it is on YouTube um, it's a playlist split split into ten or so short videos but they do form the whole movie if you play them in order yeah so it's there and you can watch it on YouTube for free yeah it does look nice with the cloud in the valley One of the reasons why I like flying in New Zealand is stuff like this, as there's plenty of mountains, variable weather, and sometimes you get lovely views to look at out of the window. Yeah, my own country, England, it, it's generally much too flat. But NZ, especially South Ireland, yeah, the topography is much more interesting. Yeah, just second guessing myself here. T topography is the right word, isn't it? For description of physical features of terrain and how up and down it is. So, yeah, I'm sure that is correct, topographer. Yeah, I think my brain's partially fried at the moment as I have been spending a few hours doing fiddly bits of scenery design which are not the most interesting things to be doing either. Yeah, just keep telling myself it'll be worth it in the end. Uh, although talking of scenery, I was quite surprised with Christchurch. Uh, just over 600 downloads at the org forum at the moment. Uh, plus there will have been more who downloaded direct from Mega, but there's no counter on that so I have no idea what the total number is going to be and the surprise is after all those downloads only two messages from people who can't get things to work well technically three but that third person just needed to update a very old version of open scenery to the latest one so they had everything they needed, just not a modern enough version of one of the libraries. So, yeah, they, they kind of don't count. Um, as for the other two, uh, yep, usual thing, missing libraries, which they would have been able to diagnose and fix very easily all by themselves if they'd read the Getting Stuff to Work document. Yeah, I do always try and help people if they're having trouble getting my scenery to display in X-Plane, but sometimes I do need to take a few deep breaths and count to ten before I start typing a reply. Um, yeah, with these two people who message me, 
I also knew which category they'd fall into. Um, yeah, it's basically a choice of two. Um, yeah, people make mistakes, do dumb things, miss things, whatever, and then I'll try and diagnose what they've done and offer information, links, or whatever is needed to fix it. Uh, of the two categories I'm talking about, I then either get a follow-up message saying, yep, that worked, thanks. And then there's a second category of people where my fix obviously did work, but I never hear from them again. Um, no, I don't need anybody's thanks. That, that's not an issue. It's just that if you ask for help and someone provides it, my character, personality... I'd feel guilty if I didn't say thank you for that. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll freely admit that I can be an arsehole. I'm really good at being an arsehole when I want to be. But I'm also a very nice and friendly arsehole. Um, with a bit of respect for people. Uh, yeah, never mind. Um, yeah, the, I mean, the no reply lot. It, not just these two there's been others in the past I'm sure there will be more in the future and doesn't make any difference to my life so certainly doesn't worry me and in some ways it's quite interesting though as I can usually guess which category somebody is going to be from the wording of their question now, if the message is worded more like you, your scenery doesn't work and therefore pointing the blame in my direction I know I'll give them a fix and never hear from them again. If the original message is the scenery doesn't work, what am I doing wrong? And therefore kind of admitting that they're likely to be the problem, then 100% those people will say thanks and let me know that the fix did work for them. I think there's an age thing at play here too, although for the most part, I'll obviously never know how old people are who message me, but certainly in real life, yeah, older generations tend to have a better grasp of the use of the words please and thank you, where young, younger generations seem to have a greater sense of entitlement. I mean, that's not true in all cases, but as a, a very broad generalisation, that's the kind of impression I'm getting. And I forget who said this, but somebody once made the great statement of don't worry what kind of planet we're going to leave for our children, worry more about what kind of children we're going to leave for our planet. And yeah, there's truth in that. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I don't have massive hopes for the human race. Um, yeah, maybe that could be a topic for a rant in the next video, as we are getting closer now. Um, that will give me a little bit more time. But sometimes I do these videos and just ramble on about whatever comes to mind. Um, you might recognise some of those as they can veer off onto all sorts of tangents of subjects. Um, yeah, but sometimes it's nice to have a topic of conversation to fill the time during the cruise or yeah well at least a small list of you know oh i must say this or i must tell people about that kind of thing so wind direction gives us a little sightseeing flyover of motoika today as we'll go past it then turn around and come back the other way the runway is aligned pretty much with our flight path, but the wind's up our backside at the moment. Which is actually better than wind coming out of your backside. Uh, although that did happen yesterday. Um, yeah, Indian takeaway. Uh, rather spicy curry. And it, 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 very nice. We enjoyed that. Yeah, when I do get a curry, by the way, I, I don't have rice. Uh, personally, I just like it as the curry itself and plenty of naan bread. 
and I'm very happy with that. However, sometimes I'll order extra stuff from the takeaway, so I've now got another curry in the fridge to have a day or two later. And with those, as I now don't have lots of fresh naan bread, I make myself some spaghetti. Now, I may have mentioned this before, as it's a fantastic discovery of mine. Indian curry with spaghetti. It's a winner. Try it. Trust me, it works. No idea how I managed to discover that, or what I was doing to come up with that combination, but... Oh yeah, it, it's good. It's very good. Right, now, if I remember correctly... I think there's a street light at the end of the runway at this place. Which I'm sure isn't there in real life. Um, go for somewhere between ignoring it and also trying to miss it at the same time. Yeah, sadly that is a feature of X-Plane Roads. It's, yeah, you can't surgically remove one street light as they're coupled into the road itself so effectively it's all one big single object. Yeah, just one of those things where you can't do anything without globally affecting the rest of the planet too, so we'll just have to live with it. Well, hey, this is just life. Um, yeah, it, it's a game. It has limitations and you learn to live with those. Um, there's many more good things about it, which is why I keep using x -Plane. And yeah, one or two anomalies. Yeah, I could let that slide. Especially in cases like this where I can't fix them anyway. Let's see how we do. Finals. Mm. I shot the centre line a little bit, but never mind. That can be cured. Yeah, not a massive runway, but some, certainly plenty of room for landing a Baron, so. If that street light is there, which I say I do think it is, but, um, yeah, we can try and miss it. And if we're landing a bit long because of that, then that shouldn't matter at all. No. don't want to press, press the replay button, but I suppose we should. Um, yeah. If, if you take away crashes, prop strikes, explosions, things where we end in a ball of flame. If we just look at it as landings where you still have a working aircraft with all the bits still attached to it, 
that, that, that's got to make the top 10, hasn't it? Uh, that, that was absolutely horrific. It wasn't even a bounce, really. Well, it's just like a, a really heavy landing, and then I almost flew it back into the air so it could land really heavily a second time. I won't, but there, there is part of me thinking, shall I just delete this video? Because I'm slightly embarrassed and redo another one. Uh, yeah, um... Oh, I don't actually... You, are you a flying instructor? Um, can I sign up for a refresher course, please? Right, that was our, uh... Our trip from, uh, KM to MK, then. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you next time. Bye!